So now I want to give you a, um, an overview about how the genetic algorithm idea has been implemented in the when to trade cycles platform. So we see here the when to trade cycles platform module uh, with the standard chart here shown on the screen and uh, we will have a new menu function here which is called genetic algorithm and here we can see the full new uh, genetic algorithm module which I will open now. So it's a complete yeah standalone program so we can pop up here as um just single application here. So um the genetic engineering consists of several steps seen here above which I will take you through during the next minutes here. So first of all it's based on the data source where, from the chart where we have stated the genetic engine. In our case we have the S&P 500 daily chart. Um, you can see here on the right this is the world to survive in. So uh, we, this is the chart we opened and you can apply it to any chart you have opened in the winter trade platform here. So first of all we must define uh, the in sample out of sample period for the world to survive in. So you can uh, select um, yeah, any range uh, uh, you want to apply it. So first of all, it makes sense to define your in-sample period. So and with these two um, points, you can uh, define your in-sample period. So between these red lines here, this will be the in-sample period where the genetic algorithm will run on. And on after this, red line here. This is the out of sample period, which means that the genetic algorithm will not take into account this data here, but you will see the performance figures uh, shown how the derived strategy would have been worked on this data, um, but this data has not been taken into account by detecting it. So you can just um, yeah, size uh, the in sample. So this would be the in sample and out of sample period. To your, to your needs, I would recommend a perhaps to use 80% of in-sample and 20% um, of out-of-sample period. However, you can design it how you like it. You can set some individual parameter, but you don't have to take along that. So this is just the environment setup. After that, we will go to the most important point. So this is where we create uh, our genetic or genomes. And therefore, it's important to understand um, how this has been implemented here in this platform. So how to, yeah, how to um, encode the um, trading strategies into your genomes is one of the most important things when dealing with genetic algorithm. And this is where most of the available software platforms don't give you much freedom in doing that. So I've chosen a way to give you much more flexibility on how to implement your genetic or genome here. So um, each genome or population of different genome consists of four types of chromosomes. So there are bi-chromosomes, there are cell chromosomes, there are exit long chromosomes, and there are exit short chromosomes. So this is the first important point to mention. So um, you can apply different chromosomes for buy strategies. I will just populate the standard example here to see what I'm talking about. So, for example, you define your rule or your statement. In this example, it's a crossover rule of the RSI indicator based on the close. And then we see two uh, parameters here. So we have one chromosome, um, which means that if we detect the crossover, um, of the um, RSI above certain level, um, we will go along the market here. So this is one chromosome. And within this chromosome, we have two genes. And the genes are defined here on the right. So the genes define the um, range of values where the mutation can take place. So we don't know the length setting for the RSI, and we don't uh, know um, the value where the crossover should take place that we take a buy signal here, that we take a long position, which means we have to define our genomes, which in this case is N3 and N4. So we can look it up here, N3. Uh, N3 has a maximum allowed value of 35 and a minimum value of 1 and a step size of 1. So and this information here is used by the mutation 
process uh, afterwards. So even if the chromosome defines our rule set, the genes allow um, yeah, the genetic algorithm to apply crossover mutation and selection rules here. So, and the fourth criteria here, which is the place where the crossover might take place, it's allowed to, to have level between 15 and 54 with a step size of one. So these parameters define um, what the genetic algorithm can mutate. So you define the ranges of where mutation can take place afterwards. So, and you can add how much statements you want. So you can add different bichromosomes to your genetic algorithm and one trading strategy will always consist then of one bichromosome. So we'll, you will then go forward with this idea um, yeah, for each chromosome. So the cell chromosome will also be filled uh, by a trading statement. This is a crossover just the other way around based on the RSI. And in addition, you have your genes, which is your N1, N2, which is defined here um, on the right with the genes, and you set the ranges here. So you go forward with defining exit um, signals for short and long. So um, from a logical point of way, you think about how your buy strategies or your favorite set of indicators should be used for buy rules. You will put the statements in here. Um, you don't need to set any parameter value. Well. You just let the genetic algorithm find the ways how the parameters should be feed into the chromosomes here. Um, and you go forward, you feed in your best cell statements or cell indicators here, and then you can add exit statements here. And the overall trading strategy is then derived. So this is a genome based on one buy, one sell, one exit long, and one exit short chromosome. So the overall genome consists of all four chromosomes, but each chromosome can be part of mutation, crossover, and selection processes. So that the trading strategy in all instances consists of all four chromosomes in the end. So we don't know what will be the best buy statement, sell statements, exit long or exit short strategies. You put in your rule set or yeah, what you need to evolve in the world and the genetic algorithm will select the parameters and, and, and chromosomes which work under the current market condition. And the good thing of the genetic algorithm is you don't have to rerun it. It does not look for the most local optimum. It evolves the current market condition and just, yeah, um, chooses the chromosomes and parameters uh, which, which fit best to the current market condition. So you can evolve with the market here. So this is an important part to set up your genetic strategy with creating your statements for buy, sell, and exit. Then the next also very important um, uh, um, element of a genetic algorithm is the fitness function. So the fitness function is your evolution rule set for survival of the fittest. So as, as I mentioned here, so we will have one genome which consists of buy, sell, exit, long chromosomes. The fitness function then rates each genome based on this rule set here. And here is another big uh, improvement which I needed to code into my platform because most fitness functions just let you choose between yeah the main trading uh, um, yeah, uh, tr trading system parameters like profitability, like a profit factor, uh, like highest profitable percent of trades. So mainly all optimization yeah, um, software packages out there let you choose one standard system parameter or just two to rate against. But if you're familiar with how to judge um, trading strategies, uh, you know that in most cases it will not make sense to run against the highest net profit or run to run a system against to optimize against the highest profit factor. Um, so I need the full flexibility in, in order to def define my own evolution rule set. And in order to do that, I coded a complete inline compiler here. So you can you can code your individual fitness function just on your own 
which give you the full control, the full flexibility of what you define as ideal fitness here. So it's an inline compiler which compiles in the platform here and you can code every fitness you want. Um, to do that, the platform gives you for sure all the statistics you will need to, to build your, your uh, fitness function up. So you have all data at hand and for example here is a standard fitness function coded which is one of my favorites, which means that it takes the system quality number into account. So one parameter of the fitness is the system quality number of von Tarp's theory. So the higher the system quality number, the better the fitness. Point 0.1, point 0.2, um, I rate my systems against an ideal equity curve, which means I want constant upsloping equity curve um, which, which then gives you the best parameters for trading. So I look for the ideal equity curve error to be as small as possible. So um, the second indicator is an ideal equity curve. And the third parameter is that I say, okay, the more trades I have in the systems, the better it is. And that's how the simple fitness is then calculated in the end uh, based on these three factors here. So this is the standard fitness function um, which is, which is included. You can even compile additional functions here as you, as you would can do this with your individual uh, coding software. So th this is the second most important point when you deal with genetic algorithms, that you have the full flexibility of defining the fitness function. So um, it gives you full control of your genetic algorithm. So um, yeah, these have been the, 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 the first or the first three steps, set the environment, create your chromosomes, define your fitness function, and then you can start to evaluate. You just will press um, the run button here, uh, or we'll just, oh, well, we can just do it here, um, and then the um, algorithm will start to run. So you see, just, just to give you an example, if I'm putting some wrong statements in and want to try to compile, you see that even the compile errors here are just, just um, shown to you. Uh, so if you, f you have a full compiler package here uh, embedded into, into the whole platform here. So and just, just we start to compile. So now the fitness function compiled successfully. And then we can start to run it. And you see the yeah, inner parameters of... Um, what is happening here so it's now the genetic algorithm is running here um, and you see some some snapshots from the the inner engine what what has happened here and you see the genomes um, arrive and you see what's happening in there so this is just the evolution process uh, which then takes place and um, yeah the the uh, interesting point here then um, the parents, which means you can see just after seconds after this process has been started, um, we see the um, um, the fittest found parents, which means that the current population is, is uh, re-evaluated just, just every seconds or every milliseconds. And it puts here the best parents, which are then used um, afterwards for yeah, mutation crossover and selection here. So you have all scores here from net profit, profitability, profit factor, uh, trades, long and short trades. So you have all parameters uh, which you need to, to, to evaluate a trading system. And in the end, and this is the, the, the last and most important point, you will have a look at the top 10 of the latest population. Uh, for sure, you need to run it um, yeah, some minutes to, to tweak out some uh, trading strategies. Afterwards, you will go to the, to the top 10 to evaluate the top 10 genomes of your final population which is currently running and now the um, um, most important thing is that you need to evaluate the latest, latest population on your own based on um, your all system figures which you need so the system here gives you net profit um, the profitability the profit factor the trades the expectancy score the long trades, the short trades, the system quality number, the ideal equity curve error. And then you can browse um, these statistics by just clicking at the line which is uh, in your interest here. And when you click on it, you see that at the lower end you see the equity curve, so you can derive just distant data. You see just one system which was yeah 
detected just after seconds of this um, this um, has been run and on the right side you see the script so we choose the crossover RZ and you see here the parameters now uh, which which belong to this trading system here from the equity curve. The red line indicates where we have the switch between the in sample period which is here on the left side and this shows the trading performance on the out of sample period which gives you an important indicator of how it would have performed um, on the out of sample data here. So you can rate this against the market. Here you see the S&P and the blue line is the equity curve. Here you see that our system trades the market quite quite equal to the market behavior with this system which has been found here just five seconds after, after I've started the, the analysis here. So then you will find um, for sure each system figures you will need for your ratings so you have all statistic data at hand like the uh, period the number of trades and you can compare in sample statistics um, uh, like person profitable with the out of sample statistic and the overall statistics so you get all systems data you need to work on and compare it you even have the complete trade log so you have all trades at hand so you can copy the trades to your Excel spreadsheet and even analyze you have a simulated account equity um, you, you can see how a simulated account would have performed based on this strategy so you have almost all data available just to analyze this and the best of it it's, it's running in parallel so while you are scanning the current population um, the evaluation process is still going on in the background so you don't need to wait until the calculation is finished you can look at the top 10 population at any time during the process so you don't need to wait for hours you can just click on the top 10 population just after five seconds the system has run as I did it here live so and this is the very interesting point because of most other optimization techniques you need to wait until they have finished you don't need to wait here you can just see and uh, observe how the population behaves just after after seconds and for sure this works all in parallel so you can have let run, let run the genetic algorithm yeah in the background um, and just start working with the shards so the complete platform yeah is, is, is still working and uh, you will not be you will not be forced to wait until some other things are finished so it's it's uh, just running and you will just be able to put it in the foreground and then you can see how these species evolve dur dur during time so um, yeah I wanted to show you how I implemented the genetic engineering in my went to trade platform and uh, yeah to to sum it up I think it's it's the most flexible way um, that you are able to create your own chromosomes, um, build your fitness function, start the evaluation process, and monitor the top 10 out of the population here, which all data you need to set up your buy and sell scripts here. After you've found your, your main scripts, you will be able, um, because if you then move on to trading, there are other tools implemented, so you can set up alerts based on your trading strategies which have been fined by the genetic algorithm. So this is how it's implemented. I think now it would be more interesting to have a look at some real examples.